Hi there! It's been a little while, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely been a little while. See, there's a reason my upload schedule is this inconsistent that I've been waiting for like a year, which is... And of course... So actually, I just couldn't find a good place to sit still and record for a bit. But then there's this one game, this one game that I needed to make a video about. This one video that I've been collecting footage for for hours, days, weeks. It's been so long since I started this. In all honesty, I started making this video right after the last one that I uploaded like a year ago. And the game in question? Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life for Nintendo GameCube. In the process of writing this video, I actually looked at the back of the box, and you know what? This game is distributed by Ubisoft, which is my favorite company ever! So let's see. The biggest harvest ever. Farming lasts a lifetime in Forget-Me-Not Valley, a coastal village where you own your farm. Cultivate friendships, raise a family while maintaining your crops and livestock. Cultivate your own seeds into the best produce available. Realistic environmental effects through multiple years and link up to Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town on the Game Boy Advance exclusively for Nintendo GameCube. A basic reading ability is necessary to fully enjoy this game. Man, that sounds awesome for a farming game nerd like myself. So, let's start the game. Oh, what? You're so long, holy shit! Okay, let's see here, we have a dad father, which makes us a Fire Emblem protagonist. Apparently he left me his farm and his boyfriend. His completely empty farm. Huh. He must not have been doing too well before he died, huh? So anyway, I started living into the old one room house. You know, I get the feeling I understand why dad died. He was just poor. In fact, the only thing that looks properly maintained is the pasture, and that's just grass. Just grass. Just grass. Ugh. Takakura, my dad's boyfriend, struck me after a cow. I named it Moo. He is cute and I love her. He also made me say hi to everyone in town. There's Celia. There's Nami. There's Muffy. The rich people. And the seedy part of town I'm told to stay away from. Neat! He tells me to go find a girlfriend and not Lumina because she's 12. Dad always wanted this to be a family farm. And for some reason, I was living somewhere completely different. Even though he wanted this to be a family farm. I also hallucinate and see leprechauns apparently. Maybe this is why Dad never took me in. I don't get it. You wanna know something about this game though? Something that's always bothered me about this game is that the characters... Are just weird. I don't understand any of them and I can't get into their characters at all. They all look so... They all look so... uncanny, like they just walked out of a very mild horror show featuring anime girls. In fact, the anime girls and the protagonists are probably some of the only well-designed characters here. The rest... I just can't. Except my boy Cody. He's kinda cool. I don't really know anything about him though, but maybe that's better than what I know about Dr. Cowhate over here, because he is very... <laughs> and I get to choose a dog! They don't do anything! Ever! I like to feed it eggs to test its durability. Now that Takakura has finally left me free on the farm, I decide to do the reasonable thing and, you know, start farming. So I purchase some seeds and a chicken and try to talk to some people, which gets me absolutely nowhere, of course. I used to live in the city, but I then I got older and came out here with Nina for some rest and relaxation. Tim and Ruby are my parents. I don't really look like either. At last, that's what everyone tells me. I'm happy if I have nature and music. Following that, I traveled around and ended up here. I really come to like it here. So, you know, about the pacing reading ability, it's kind of hurting my enjoyment right now more than it should. The game is riddled with these small errors in grammar and spelling, and I think it bothers me way more than it should. These aren't quite one-offs either, by the way. These all happened in the same minute of gameplay. So my first day ends, and then we wake up and do our chores, like what are the plants, milk the moo, that kind of stuff. And then our first chicken joined the fray. Her name shall be Nugget, and we shall go on many adventures. I spent the rest of the day exploring and trying to sell the few bottles of milk I have to local townsfolk. Which... Yep. I am standing here. With milk. Anyone? Please? Hello? Oh. Oh, time to 
time to go to bed. And I woke up at 3 a.m. Oh, this is too relatable. Whatever, time to go farm, and I'm done. What do I do with the rest of the day now? This is kind of how most of the days go by. Um, wake up, farm, be bored, sleep. 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 Wake this game is already making me go insane, and I've only just started, by the way. This is still the first three hours. So there was one eventful thing that happened. I was trying to buy more seeds, so I went to the neighboring farm, and Celia eats me. Probably because I did a sick wave dash out of sheer panic. For some reason, I follow her and I get the option to tell her to follow me? Finally, a party member! This RPG is looking up! Marlon, however, sees through my cleverness as I am clearly here to pick up girls instead of, you know, literally anywhere else in the world. So we just kind of go and then she leaves me? Good talk, Celia. Good talk. I'm a little bewildered. I think I'll just go back now and grab some seeds, as that was the plan. So, a little while later, I wake up with depression! So that's a thing in this game, apparently. Can't work too hard! I need to find a different way to get money, and actually, tending to crops seems to be a thing that's just... not very profitable... at all? And you know what? I think I got it. See, there's all this grass, right? There's all this grass in the pasture. What if I... Sell the grass. That's gotta work, right? So, what I did was cut all this grass, grab it out of his chute, get ready to sell it to Van, cut more grass, and more grass, and more grass, and more grass, and more grass, and, more grass, and oh my god, this game is just menial tasks over and over and over, isn't it? So, over an hour of riveting gameplay later, not making this up, I'm finally ready to start selling grass as Van is finally back in town. And you want to know something? Farming does indeed last a lifetime. This, good lord, this game is slow as hell. I've been cutting grass for an hour. <laughs> you know what? Back in the game, selling grass does indeed seem to be the way to go. I get 10 gold per fodder, which means that absolutely no effort on my part, 10 gold actually grows on my farm for free which is about the same as I would get for spending so much time cultivating a single tomato. So farming barely nets any profit, and this works in bulk. This is stupid, I'm a grass farmer now. The more stuff happens, and at this point I think I'm deep enough in to say that I'm just going to skip ahead a bit, because this took a long time, like 12 hours. I got some more livestock, the livestock problem leaves its ugly head very soon too, because you see, in this game, cows can only give milk for a while after they give birth, which makes sense because realism. Except only one calf can exist in your farm at any given time, but every calf needs their own reserve spot, and your barn only has eight spots, one of which will be occupied by a horse, so that makes seven, and one of which will be occupied by a bull, so that makes six left, and if you have three cows, you have exactly enough for three calves, which is a pretty good amount for a cycle, except... Once the last one is born, you can restart the cycle, however, do not, I repeat, do not make the mistake of getting a goat, because good luck, you are going to have to starve that thing to death if you want to have a stable loop going on with your cows, or spend a lot of money to get them pregnant by a low rank bull, which you really don't want, because then you only get low rank children, which means you're not getting any profit out of your very expensive cows. So the first year ends, Muffy breaks into my house, telling me that we should get together. I decline, she gets mad and leaves, and I go home. This is sweet freedom. I, I consider this the good ending, but unfortunately, this is considered a premature game over. The game only continues if you say yes, and you have a kid. And I'll be honest, this kid is kind of cute. Apparently, he grows up eventually and starts doing things, but to be honest, guys, I gave up. I gave up with this game. Because, see... I got close to reaching the next year of this second chapter, but then I started looking things up. This game takes so long. It's so stressful. It's a complete mess. There's so little to actually do. I, f I felt like I've already explored everything I could, and there's just nothing interesting going on. 18 years after I first played this game, 
I think I've finally given up on this game. I don't think I can ever put myself through this because you know what? You know what's the worst part? The Friends of Mineral Town link. Because Friends of Mineral Town is an actual fun game on your Game Boy Advance. And to get some of the nicer quality of life upgrades like music changes, you have to play these games alongside each other, periodically linking them up to send character data over it repeatedly. So what I ended up doing constantly was just playing Friends of Mineral Town and then crying because I knew I had to go back to a wonderful life at some point. And to be honest, I think that's what finally made me give up feeling that I had to go back to something that I wasn't really enjoying. So yeah, this was my experience with Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life for GameCube, and to be honest, this game... This game has been on my mind for 18 years, and I give up. It's a game over for me. After playing through this game extensively, it's easy to see why they went back to the more cozy style of Harvest Moon games where real life logic simply doesn't exist. Heck, I feel kind of exhausted just talking about this game for the past, like, what's it been, 10 minutes? I don't think I ever want to play a game this stressful ever again. I haven't even gone over the other mechanics, like actually cultivating your own crops, which is actually a real thing, but the unlock requirement for it is not only completely ridiculous and fully missable, the amount of trial and error going into it is such a hot mess that I've just given up on it and want to pretend that I completely missed it. And I think that pretty much sums up the rest of my experience with this game. It's weird, I don't like it, and I think I'm done here. So if you like this video, um, well, I mean, you're on YouTube, you know what to do, right? There's a subscription button, there's a like, which you can completely obliterate with your mouse finger clicks, and until the next time, which is hopefully not in 10 months, I will be seeing you next time. Bye-bye.